This week, we got an email from a viewer who called the girl pepper sprayed by police a vile child. A vile child. She's nine years old. She's a kid who in that moment was very emotional and pulling out whatever she's picked up along the way to try to mask her vulnerability, to protect herself. I have a nine-year-old son. When he feels hurt, he sometimes lashes out, trying to push that pain onto someone else. And we're working hard to teach him how to properly handle these emotions so he doesn't drag that default response into adulthood. And a lot of folks have. It's similar to how many carry childhood trauma throughout their lives. And I've learned that trauma can become cyclical, passed down generation to generation. It's just one of the larger issues I hope gets talked about as we move forward with this discussion of policing. Because the goal on all sides is to make it so less policing is necessary, a more peaceful society. This should not distract from the very real and practical police reforms that are being proposed. I'm simply suggesting the inclusion of broader topics so perhaps we can reach broader change. The cycle of trauma is one of those topics. And I know from talking with both activists and law enforcement, other issues include poverty, institutional racism, gun violence, mental health, community leadership, personal responsibility, and education. Now, some of the beliefs wrapped around those issues will conflict with one another, and tensions might rise. But how many times have you found true resolution to a problem only after a difficult conversation? I just suggest everyone go into that conversation with the kind of pledge I see on the wall when I take my son to Master Kim's Taekwondo Institute. The Black Belt Pledge says, I will respect everyone and myself. I will think before I act, and I will be responsible for my actions. I will meet all challenges, and I will strive to rise above them. Watching kids try to stay true to this pledge reminds me that all children can be guided, and all adults have a responsibility to try to be that guide. See you on Monday.